Hi, I'm Jason C. Brown from kettlebellathletics.com. If you've been following along with our, our three-part series, Why Your Kettlebell Won't Swing, first I covered your hip flexors, then I covered your glutes, and now I'm going to put them all together in something that's known as reciprocal inhibition. Basically what it means is if both muscles on, uh, if the muscles on both sides of the joints were acting together, it would be the, essentially the same thing as putting the brakes and the gas on at the same time. And it wouldn't allow any motion, all right? It goes a lot deeper than that, and sometimes you can have something called a ballistic co-contraction where they would actually both work at the same time, but that's getting too deep. Right now, let's just stay right on the surface of reciprocal inhibition, and I'll teach you how to get more out of your, your hip flexor stretches as we go along. All right, so if you can remember our hip flexor stretch here, all right? This is one of the most basic. Again, you can stay dorsi flexor up on your toes, all right? Now, there's a neural connection between your muscles, of course. The one way that you're going to get deeper into this hip flexor stretch is by actively contracting your glute on the same side, okay? By contracting this glute, it sends a, uh, I don't want to get too technical, but it tells your hip flexor to relax. Again, going back to that, putting the gas and the brake on at the same time, if this one is contracting, this one has to relax in order to produce the movement, all right? So we can get more technical on that, and if you want more, more um, science behind it, just drop a note in the comment section below and I can help you out. But get into that hip flexor stretch right here. Let's just stick with the basics for now. From here, you're gonna contract your glute. You should gain about two to three more inches out of that hip flexor stretch. Contract, contract that glute, contract. And you can see me sinking right there. All right? So by actively contracting this glute on the stretching side, it's telling your hip flexor to relax. And you should be able to sink into that stretch even further. Okay, that's known as reciprocal inhibition. You could go much deeper than that. For now, let's just stay on the surface and try that out. Get into that hip flexor stretch. Go to the range of motion where you feel tight. Actively contract that glute and see if you can't gain uh, two to three more inches out of that movement. All right, thanks again, Jason C. Brown from Kettlebell Athletics.